All right, let's move on to the 4 p.m. games here. Now we'll get into some of the better ones. Patriots at Broncos. Why not? Let's call it the game of the week. Patriots at Broncos. Everybody wants to see it. Some people wanted to flex it over to prime time. It didn't get there. Yes. <laughs> Do the Broncos have a chance, a -Roz? They have a chance because you think New so? England has, <clears throat> they have the worst defense in the NFL statistically. That's true. They give up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Um, they give up 400 yards a game. The only team in the NFL to do that. If you got Washington and Indianapolis are scoring points on them big time, yeah, then I think Denver has a chance too. Excuse me. <clears throat> Tim Tebow put up some decent numbers the last couple of weeks. I think New England can't stop anybody. And whether they're against the run or the pass, Roy Hila looked awesome against this New England defense. So Willis McGahee might have a pretty strong game against them. However, can they keep up with Tom Brady in that offense? And that's the question. This is the game of the week, not necessarily because it's the two best teams, but it's the most interesting game of the week. Because you've got New England's high-flying offense and Tom Brady running the ship. And then you've got their defense is just one of the worst in the league. You're facing a Denver team that seems to be to run it into luck every week. We think, okay, they've been the luckiest team in football. They may create their own luck with their defense and their running game. They're getting their, the turnovers when it matters the most in the fourth quarter. The only thing is, though, it's in Foxborough. Uh, my – no, excuse me, that's not. It's in Denver. I'm sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, in Denver. Uh, last time New England was in Denver was the, um, the divisional round of the playoffs in which they were defeated by Jake Plummer and the Denver Broncos back then and led by Mike Shanahan. So – a little bit different now than it was then. They're going to have to play keying in on this running game. However, I think it's going to be about a game like 34-28 type of game because I just think New England's defense is that bad. And they'll be able to hang around uh, – oh, excuse me, Denver hang around New England for a while. But when push comes to shove, I think Tom Brady is just too good, and I don't think this Denver defense can do anything against it. New England's going to win this game by seven. It's going to be really close. I can't do it. Sorry, I can't even say that. New England's going to win this game by three touchdowns. Bam. Denver wow. defense though is legit. I want to. I want to. You know. I want to be clear, like, and not just take all the credit away from Denver. But they're, you know, because their defense is legit. But we're talking about Tom Brady. I mean, th yeah. this is the toughest team they've played during this seven and one stretch i mean you know what they lost was detroit and detroit destroyed tim tebow they destroyed uh denver they got the pass rush on him they hit tebow all the time who know who's could say that you know bill belichick can sign a great game plan that will um uh, stop this offense even more so they may look even worse i mean it could obviously happen i don't think denver's defense is good enough to stop against patriots offense but it's also a mile high, so it's a chance. We'll see how what happens. It could be close, but this is the best team, like you said, that Denver's faced this entire stretch. No questions asked. I mean, I, I don't want to take too much away from the 7-1 and one record, but it's an easy schedule, right? Or it's, you know, yes. moderate at best schedule that Tebow's been, you know, winning these games in. Not to take too much credit away from him. But this is by far the toughest game. And I have the Patriots at number five in my power rankings. And there are two AFC teams in my power rankings ahead of the Patriots. So as far as the AFC goes, you know, I don't know what to say. And so, and, and as far as these Tebow for MVP talks that I keep seeing pop oh. up on Twitter, it's absolutely oh, ridiculous. No. I mean, this is what I'm, I mean, strength of schedule, um, overall, look at the quarterback rating. I mean, uh, and I just, I don't know what to say. Marion Barber the was. That made, that, that, oh, I'm sorry. That, those are the people, the ones that think Tebow for MVP are the people, the reason why I did my little soapbox thing a couple weeks ago is that people need to get out of the prison of the moment thing. This guy is not an MVP. I would laugh at you if you think this guy is the reason why he's the NFL MVP. Aaron Rodgers is, without a doubt, the NFL most valuable player. It's not even close. Maybe you put Tom Brady in there as a number two, but come on. You really think Tim Tebow Drew Brees, is maybe. the league's most uh, – Drew Brees, I'm sorry. that's I should have mentioned him as well. He's had a great year. Those three guys are the league's most valuable players. None of those three teams would be where they are without them. And you could argue the same thing about Denver. You could. But come on. Those three teams are Super Bowl caliber teams. 
Denver isn't. And it's nice to talk about. It's interesting. People have their opinions on Tim Tebow. But come on. I laugh at anybody who thinks that Tim Tebow is the league's most valuable player. You know, I just, you know, it's out there and um, it is what it is. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the Patriots 35 to 10. Mark it down. 